Our volunteers program began in 2010 and we now have just over 100 volunteers who are not only an invaluable resource but bring many different qualities to the service. They provide us with additional capacity and enable us to engage with more people by attending events and educating them on fire safety, delivering safe and well visits, helping us with our Princess Trust program and leading on our fire cadet units. I have pride in, in, in what I do and if you can give somebody just that little snip of what you feel then it's all worthwhile. I just like how hard they push you, like if, if you're having a rough day they're still there for you and you know that you can come to them with anything and they're always just so supportive and so caring. They are genuinely caring about the cadets, they really do care about them and sort of their relationship with them as well. I think they do a lot for the community as they enjoy doing like the community service bits. They just 100% back the cadets, they really, they really are amazing. Obviously they could be doing other things and they come and help us when we need them or appreciate everything they do for us. A lot of cadets that I've spoken to want to go into the fire service. I think it's really nice that they've got that opportunity when they're young to try all the different aspects of it. My most favourite was when we was doing a bleep test and one of the instructors, Hannah, she ran with me because I had no one to run with. Seemed as I was the only girl so she ran with me. You see them from joining in their civilian clothing to actually wearing that badge, understanding what that means, what it stands for and who they represent and then to own it the way they do is, yeah, it's quite awe-inspiring and you soon grow up, in all honesty. They're quite adolescent and childlike when they're turning up and a lot of that I think is through the fear of the unknown and you resort back to your childish ways. To see that development, that mutual respect and everything else that you gain from it is, yeah, you can't beat it, can't beat it. I mean, I enjoy volunteering because I can give back to the public, make them aware of different things in and around our community, predominantly the wildfires that we have throughout the New Forest. I really enjoy volunteering to make sure that the public have awareness of what the rules are in the forest and work in conjunction with Forestry England. So making sure things like they take their rubbish home with them, they don't have barbecues or light fires in the forest. And also it's about just making sure the public can know that we're around. We're here to give advice on fire safety and also to make the whole of the forest an enjoyable area to be. To help people, it's as simple as that. I love helping people and the thought that we are keeping somebody safe in their own home is amazing. They're just so lovely people. Um, easy, to, easy to talk to, um, make you feel relaxed. I had a couple of things wrong and they put them right for me. Cable things, they teach you as you go along. They, they say as, they, as you learn. So I'm very, 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 very impressed with them. My role means a lot to me, making people smile maybe being the only person they see that day, knowing that you're leaving their home safe, having changed a smoke alarm, put a CO monitor in, referred them on to other agencies that can help them with whatever they need. As we get older, we let things slide. So people like Tracy and Deb will just remind you. I understand they're volunteers. Not only are they wonderful personalities, very respectful, good humour, they teach you in a soft way to help you. Kind of treat it like the mum test. I treat them in the same way that I would expect and like somebody to treat my mum if they were coming into her home. Fire service as it is today is not immune from financial pressures that budgets bring. Having a volunteer network can really enable us to reach as far out as possible to the public and actually invest the, the right amount of time we need to spend with people that perhaps are very lonely, uh, slightly vulnerable. We as volunteers can give time to people where obviously the fire service need to be around for emergencies. I think they get a lot of satisfaction out of getting in contact with a lot of elderly people and disabled people. There's a lot of us out there. We need it, we need these volunteers because there's no other way that we're going to find out what we're doing wrong or how we can improve our lives. They say thank you to us. Mm. We thank them, you know, they, they, make, they make what we do so worthwhile. We've had thank you cards We've had messages from people saying, you know, 
thank you very much for coming and that just means everything. That's wonderful. So the advice I give to anyone that um, is interested in volunteering would be to have a conversation about what it is you can bring to the organisation. We have a variety of different people with very, very different backgrounds. Even though we didn't know each other, we just hit it off straight away, didn't we? I think we work, we work well together. But another reason for, for staying and for being part of, of what we do and, and loving it so much is the welcome that we received from the fire service themselves. Um, everybody at Basingstoke Station has been so welcoming and so wonderful. Um, they've made us feel part of the team and it's been great, hasn't it? It has. Yeah, we have nicknames. I won't say what they are. <laughs>